Hi, I'm Janice, and this is Levi. Today we're going to be talking about how to groom your horse. So I brought in my horse from the paddock, or from the stall, and he's ready to be groomed. He's quite filthy. I'm going to start with a curry comb. Now you'll find many different types of curry combs. The most popular is something like this. It has a handle. It's hard rubber. I prefer the mitt. It gets good coverage even in the ticklish spots and we'll go over the ticklish spots as I go along. Um, I also have a tiny cur curry comb. It's very soft. It's for his face. Um, and this is a curry comb very gentle on one side, a little bit more nubbier and harder on the other side. It's good for giving baths. So we're going to skip those for today and just go with the rubber mitt. Fits nicely over your hand. It's double sided. And I'm going to start at his neck and I'm going to work my way backwards. Each side of the horse, that's how you should go. Start from the front and work your way back. So I'm going to go in circles, gentle circles. And what this is doing is getting rid of any loose hair and dirt that may be way down next to his skin. It's bringing it up to the surface, getting, lo getting the loose fur. Loosening the older hair. When you come down to your horse's legs, you want to be careful because they're quite sensitive. There's a lot of bone close to the surface. So you're going to use up and down, shorter strokes. The belly of some horses is very sensitive, so you want to give it a little test rub, see how he reacts. But you want to get down into the girth area here, because that's where a lot of sweat develops. And move your way back slowly. Sometimes it helps to have another hand on the horse just to gentle him. I'm gonna switch hands. I want us the, I want to pay particular attention to where the saddle is going to sit. If there's any dirt or anything where I'm going to be laying my saddle on his back, that's going to cause an irritation and a saddle sore. And we don't want to do that. Horses' backs are very sensitive. Another sensitive, very ticklish spot on your horse is called the stifle, which is right back in here. Very gently, you want to brush or curry that area. It's like a funny bone for humans. enjoy having their faces brushed. I have my soft curry comb and gently I'm going to start little tiny circles on his forehead. Come down his face. You want to avoid these sharp bones on the side. Very sensitive. There's not much padding there at all. I'm going to go over it with a brush later. Can you get his big cheek. Get any loose hair, dirt off of there. They sweat a lot underneath. You want to curry that and just get his whole face. Next, I'm going to move on to a body brush. There's many different types of brushes out there. Um, some are synthetic, some are horse hair, uh, boar's hair, pig's bristles. Depends on your preference. Um, this is just a long bristled flicking brush. It's going to flick away all the dirt and hair I've brought to the surface through currying. And again, you want to go with the hair of your horse. Never brush against. Long strokes down the legs. Again, paying particular attention to where your saddle is going to sit. Careful on the belly. 
and again, that ticklish spot, the stifle. Now that we've gently curried his face, I'm going to use a nice soft brush to brush away all of the loose hair and dirt. Um, starting at the top, brushing with the hair, the direction of the hair, from the center outwards and down. Don't forget to get the cheeks, the jowl, and underneath. I also like to take a rag and wipe away any debris around his eyes and around his nose. So one of the most important aspects of grooming your horse is just feet. No hoof, no horse. So I start by cleaning away any of the dirt and mud that might be on the outside of his hoof. Next, I take my hoof pick, and I'm going to have to lift up his leg and clean out his feet. Now, I just can't pull on his leg like this. I'm going to have to lean against him, hold on to his leg, put gentle pressure, and look at that. He lifts it for me. Now I can clean out his hoof. So the position I'm taking with this horse is I'm holding on to one of his forelegs, his other legs are square on the ground. My feet are in a position where if he suddenly decides to put down the foot that I'm holding, my toes are well out of the way. So I'm gonna start by digging out any dirt. There is a triangle called the frog in the center of the horse's hoof. And you can see that here. It's a hard, spongy tissue and you don't want to scrape that out, but you want to scrape all the dirt out around it. Check for any rocks or sticks your horse may have picked up. This part of his hoof is hard, so don't be afraid of digging too hard on the hard part. And then I can use the brush to get any additional debris out. And there we have a nice clean hoof. We gently put the foot back down. Now your horse is going to expect you want to clean the rest of his feet, so he's ready to pick them up at a touch by now. Your horse is now all clean and ready to be tacked up. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more, and click that like button. Thanks for watching.